Hello everyone, today we're going to make a guide on how to start playing on Turtle WoW. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to Turtle WoW's official website and sign up. After you sign up, all you have to do is click download client and download the client. When you download and extract the file, you should have something like this. TurtleWall.exe is the launcher you're going to be using to update the game, but not to play it. The other important file we have is WoW.exe, which we can use to launch the game. When you get here, you need to enter the information you use to register on the website and press login. When you log in for the first time, you should get a prompt asking you to choose a server. I recommend picking the RP server because it has a higher population. And that's it, you can now play on the server. Add-ons are going to make our experience much more enjoyable. Also, I'm going to show you which settings I would personally recommend changing. You can find add-ons on the Turtle Owl Wiki website. There are three ways to download add-ons. Downloading on binary from GitHub, downloading the entire code repository, When you see a link under the releases tab, you download it from there. Or downloading from the creator's website directly. Once you have downloaded all the add-ons you want to use, you have to extract them all and rename the folders so that they no longer contain underscore main or underscore master. You can select all the files by pressing control A and extracting everything. You can now delete all the zip files and remove underscore main and underscore master from all the folder names. When you're done with renaming the folders, you can drag them in the interface slash add-ons folder. If you want to use NAMPower, download the zip file and drag the nampower.dll into your WoW folder. Do the same with Super Wow. And lastly, we have Vanilla Fixes, which I recommend you always use. Also, Vanilla Fixes is going to load an Empower and Super Wow, so you don't have to do anything extra. You can now use vanillafixes.exe to launch the game. When you load up, just spam next. The game should now run a lot smoother. You can change the PFUI settings by pressing escape and selecting PFUI config. The setting I recommend changing first is under action bar, general, and make sure trigger actions on keydown is checked. If you want to play borderless mode, you have to open the XVK config file and uncomment this line. Also, if you want to change your max FPS, you can do so by modifying this line. You should now be able to play in borderless mode with your desired FPS. Another thing I recommend changing is the movement itself. Under key bindings, you should find strafe left and strafe right. You can bind those to A and D. If you don't want to manually change how the UI looks, I will give you my import string so you can use my UI. If you don't like it, there are plenty you can find online.
Now I'm going to show you how to improve the graphics. This is what the game looks like now. You want to search for Turtle WoW HD Graphics and click on the first link. Scroll down until you find file downloads and download all three patches. When you download all the files, drag them into the data folder. Using this mod is going to cause you to have a bugged talent tree. I'm going to show you how to fix it. First, you need to download a MPQ editor of your choice. I'm going to download Latix MPQ editor. Open the MPQ editor and drag patch A into it. On the right side, you should see DB files client. Click on it and delete spells.dbc. Your game should now look better. Here is a direct comparison between the graphics.